Now, the craziest part of the video by far, I asked ChatGPT to analyze a chess game of mine and it analyzed it, plus it gave me a full list of notes. Okay, this is revolutionary. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to become a grand master, or at least get you better at chess. So for those of you who haven't heard of ChatGPT, it's AI. It's not quite the robots from Lost in Space, however, it's getting there. It's a virtual assistant designed to help answer questions and provide information on a wide range of topics. So it's pretty much like Google on anabolic steroids. So all you gotta do is go to chat.openai.com and from here you will find a chat box and this is where the magic starts. For example, I'm going to type in give me five reasons I suck at chess. And now, as you see, it gives me five reasons. Now, that's too long and I can't be bothered to read all that. I can just say, summarize that with half the words. Now, let's say you're a beginner who hasn't played much chess or is just getting into it and you have no idea how to get better at the game. Well, let's ask ChatGPT for some advice. Now, I forgot to mention, this is entirely free. You don't have to pay anything at all. Okay, now I'm going to ask it. Chess advice for beginners. Let's see what it comes up with. Now, the OpenAI has given me seven tips for beginners. Now, let's go over them. Okay, I want to start off by saying the seven pieces of advice the OpenAI has generated are absolutely great. First of all, we've got start by learning the basic rules of chess. This is pretty elementary. Most people know this. We've got practice by playing chess against yourself or against a computer program. Now, this piece of advice I completely disagree with, and it's the only one out of seven I believe is total garbage. The rest are actually pretty amazing. Playing against a computer program is not going to get you good at chess because the computer is always going to play just really generic computer, the best moves all the time. You need to play against a human who goes for cheapos, who blunders, who makes good moves. It's just not the same as a computer program. You need to play against someone with cold blood. We've got pay attention to the center as the third piece of advice. I believe this is great. So as you see, it's given me a tip and it's kind of elaborated on the tip, explaining to me why this tip actually matters. And it's done a great job, honestly. But paying attention to the center of the board is a very crucial part of chess. The center is the most important part of the board. So he who controls the center controls the game. Honestly, great advice. Fourth, we've got develop your pieces. And then it elaborates on it, giving you a more clear idea of how to develop your pieces. I believe this is advice is great moving your pawns and knights out to control more space on the board and then we've got number five learn basic tactics such as forks pins and skewers if you're a beginner watching this learning forks pins and skewers will honestly be a game changer if you can get good at those tactics get good at those puzzles you will skyrocket up the elo ladder very fast six we've got pay attention to the end game i remember when i was first learning chess and i was playing against my dad i ended up getting into an end game where i had a king and a rook and my dad just had a king and i didn't know how to checkmate so paying attention to the end game is very crucial because if I knew that I would have ended up checkmating him and getting my first victory over my dad a lot quicker. Now we've got don't be afraid to experiment with different openings and see what works for you. Now these seven pieces of advice are definitely helpful and informative however they're still quite generic and still quite broad. Now we're going to get a lot deeper and see how far we can push this AI into giving us the secrets on how to become a grandmaster. Now if you want to develop a more specific part of your chess for example your tactics we can get a lot of useful information out of this open AI. AI. And what is mind blowing, it can actually generate tactical puzzles for you to solve. Right, so I'm going to ask ChatGPT for a training plan so we can get better at tactics, and then we're going to go over the puzzles it creates for us. Right, so here the OpenAI has come up with five ideas for us to get better at tactics, solve tactic puzzles, practice visualization. Okay, so this stuff's a bit standard, and I already kind of knew this. I'm going to push it a bit harder. So it's created some puzzles for us to solve, and now let's have a look at these. So what I've got to do is copy this, and I'm going to paste it on my chessboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the link the ChatGPT made for us, and I'm going to press Add Games, and it's going to create this. So the ChatGPT asks, what is the best move for black here? This one is pretty simple. We actually just eat this pawn, and it's a draw. So that's the first puzzle solved. Look, I'm not going to waste your time. The puzzles it created weren't amazing. You're better off just using Lee Chess, Chess.com, etc. However, I'm going to show you something I think you'll find really cool. Say you have a favorite chess player, and you want to play like them. Well, ChatGPT is absolutely fantastic at helping you trying to emulate your favorite chess player. For example, a player I hold in high regard and aspire to play like is Emery Tate. We've got four tips here on how to play like Emery Tate, and as you see, it's actually nailed Emery Tate's style pretty well. It says he has an aggressive and unorthodox playing style, 100% true. The one thing I do disagree with is the Nimzo Indian defense. I don't think that is an opening Emery Tate really played ever. One nice detail that it picked up here is that Emery Tate was a great coach. He was in fact a chess coach. So getting very accurate pieces of information there and also practice aggressive openings, 100% true. Focusing on the attack. 
Typical Emery stuff. Be honest, the AI has done a great job. Okay, this is pretty incredible. I've just asked for five YouTube videos which will help me play like Emery Tate. And it's unable to browse the internet right now as it got disconnected from using the internet in 2021. I like number four here. Look for videos that feature instruction and tips on how to create chaos on the board. Tate was known for creating chaos on the board and by watching videos that explain how to disrupt your opponent's position and gain an advantage, you can learn to play in a similar style. So if there's this much information on an international master, imagine how much information there is out there on grandmasters especially famous ones. Now, the craziest part of the video by far, I asked ChatGPT to analyze a chess game of mine and it analyzed it, plus it gave me a full list of notes. All I had to do was ask if it could analyze my chess game. It said it would be happy to. I just have to post my PGN in the chat. So what I did, I went copied it and then I pasted it here. As you see, I got this from chess.com. And the very interesting part starts now. It has given me feedback. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the chessboard and read out to you what the AI has come up with. Okay, by the way, this was a blitz game. So don't absolutely butcher me in the comments for my moves. Um, it was a blitz game, three minutes. Still no excuse but it wasn't amazing play by me so i started with e4 and let's see what it has to say about this it says uh white auto master played one e4 and black who responded with e5 which is a good move trying to control the center that is true my opponent played e5 so it knows we're both trying to control the center um then it goes on and says um white pushed the pawn on f3 a typical move trying to control the center as well black responded by playing f5 attacking the center pawn this might not be the best move but it makes sense as it was trying to create the weaknesses on the white center pawn it says here i pretty much played f3 however i did not play f3 here i actually played knight f3 so it did say i tried to move something to f3 it just wasn't the pawn i think it got it wrong and here knight c6 was played it said f5 was played however um f5 was not played but f5 was played later on so i think it kind of skipped these moves because i played knight c3 here and then f5 was played okay so now it said uh white played d3 defending this e4 pawn which is very impressive and then it said it uh, black played d6 so i played d4 but it did say i played bishop b5 here it's not actually possible however i do play bishop b5 eventually so it is is kind of on the right track. And then I think it's now where I played bishop b5. It said I was attacking the pawn on d7, and there is no pawn on d7. It says from here, it seems like both players have made a series of reasonably solid moves, developing their pieces and trying to build up their position. I mean, this is fairly true. I went castles, and now we see the move f4. Now, after f4, I took here. Chat GPT says that a white sacrificed a pawn with bishop c6 and gained a strong center pawn on d5, which can be used for future attacks. The trade off is that black has a pawn structure with two ice isolated pawns on c6 and f5 which can be weakened i think what it was anticipating after bishop c6 was to take back with a uh, bc6 instead of taking with this bishop and after bc6 there actually would be um double isolated pawns here so it was kind of right however there is no isolated pawn on f5 um now we see after this we see um a nice queen trade and let's see what it says on this queen trade uh, the queen trade on move 13 is good for white as it simplified the position and left black with a weak king side very true. Black resigned on move 21, giving white a win. So it didn't analyze anywhere um, up till this. I mean, fair enough. It's like, it's not really any point of analyzing this. I'm just completely winning here. So overall, chat GPT can be used as a deadly weapon to improve your chess. However, it's still not 100% and it's still improving. If you're interested in checking out some of the games of Emery Tate, I've got some here for you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.